Okay, now we're, on, we're going to the instant ramen soup. I'm going to make two jars of it, and then I'm going to make a bowl of it. So you guys can kind of get an idea of how to make the jars. Okay, now <laughs> this, is a, a, this is a wonderful instant soup hack. And I love this soup. I actually made it for lunch for me today. Um, just to make sure I liked it. And I did. So. Now this is wonderful. I just love the soup. So uh, I can just get everything I need from the produce department pretty much. Um, except for some very specific items. And that would be, um, we don't have miso here. No miso. So, um, the, but I found that the black bean sauce with garlic that you can get in the Asian, the international section, actually um, has miso. Um, it's got fermented black soybeans, uh, garlic, miso. Um, so it's got, all, it's got soy sauce in it and stuff. So you actually don't have, if you get this, you don't have to get the soy sauce. You don't have to put the soy sauce in it if you don't want to. Um, so uh, now I had grated some fresh ginger. I don't take the skin off my ginger. I just, I just grate it. I don't care if the skin's on it. It won't kill me. It really won't. Um, I've just got some shiitake mushrooms. I didn't do a thing to them. Just open up the pack, put them in the... I bet you don't like mushrooms, do you? I know you. Um, and I'm gonna use... How many people that are here tonight are gonna try this particular soup if I make it? It's got, it'll have mushrooms in it, it'll have noodles, it'll have carrots, it'll have uh, tahini. Okay. I'll more. Awesome. All right. Because I, I didn't know how much to make, so. Um, whether I come back for seconds or not. Ah, that's okay. If you don't come back for seconds, I'm not going to get hurt. Um, so what I'm going to do is sort of divide you know, all these ingredients up amongst the various players that are here. Um, at home, this is so awesome. Okay, so you can use these. Ma you can use mason jars like I'm using here. You can use as much or as little uh, ginger as you like, but you just usually you would have like four mason jars in front of you, and you just distribute the ingredients from the mason jars, just like it says in the recipe. Um, this is the black bean sauce, which is pretty intense, and I'm going to use a couple of teaspoons. That for the whole thing now, or two for each one? Uh, two for each one, and one for the pot. You can use as much or as little as you want. Now, um, so there's no miso paste, like I said. If you can find miso, use it, because miso is just wonderful, awesome. I love miso, but we just don't have it. It's, a, um, uh, it's another fermented product. Ferment, fermented things are good. I'll put this later. Uh, this is sesame tahini. I use sesame tahini a lot for tons of different things. Uh, for hummus. Um, so if you if you this also you have to get in the international section of the grocery store. I must have looked for an hour downstairs <laughs> to try to find a tahini, but then I found it. It'll be um, so it's like, but it's uh, it's a wonderful product. And you just have to stir it because lots of times the, uh, the sesame oil will separate. So you just, I use a fork. This is what I do with peanut butter too. And I just kind of, I just start moving the fork up and down to start incorporating the, the oil with the, with, the peanut, with the sesame butter. Turn these down. Let me turn them off actually. I'm going to turn the elements off right now because they're bubbling away. 
Okay, this is for something else. Um, sesame seeds, you can use sesame seeds, you can toast them, you can leave them untoasted, you can do what you want. Lots or a little. Now I'm going to skip the soy sauce because the soy sauce is in the, the bean paste. So I'm not going to use the, the soy sauce, but I am going to use the grated carrots. Now these are, um, we, have a, we have a ton of these down at Bakery Deli, so I just grabbed a bag. You can, um, you can shred your own carrots if you like, or just buy these conveniently packaged. And again, you distribute these through the, throughout your glasses. When you make these, when you make these, they will they will keep um, without the water in them. They'll keep in your refrigerator for four days, so you have four days worth of food for lunch. Um, then I'm going to add the shiitakes. You can, if you want to, and um, if you want to, you can. Uh, break up these shiitakes a little bit. I forgot to, okay, here's the tahini. Tahini just lends an amazing richness to this soup. This goes underneath the carrots. Spinach. Also, if you like, now this is, again, this is an incredibly um, easy, easy recipe, but if you want to, you can add, um, you can add chicken, you can add rotisserie chicken to this, you know, anything cooked. You can add, uh, one, of the one of these recipes actually calls for adding beef jerky in it, so you have really like a wonderful little beef, uh, beef ramen soup. Uh, go to the website, the blog that has this on it, because it's got, he's got some amazing hacks for this soup. He's got a chicken and dill recipe. Um, this particular one. Now, th for this recipe, I actually used a... Um, I'm using a different, I'm not using the better than bouillon broth. I'm using this uh, broth base and seasoning. It's a vegan broth base and seasoning. And this is a powder. But you can use the, the better than bouillon broth. You can use your own like bean broth if you're, but it's best if you don't use a liquid in this, in this, in your jars until you're ready to have to put the hot stuff on there, the, the hot water on there, because otherwise you're going to have a mush. Okay. Now these are these are Chinese noodles, and you can get these you can get these downstairs. Um, we don't have um, we don't have ramen noodles. We have ramen noodle soups, but we don't have just the ramen noodles by themselves. So you can, use, you can use these. They cook just great with hot water. Two minutes, ramen soup. And you can, you know, as much or as little. But it's still just as crunchy as it could be. But he, uh, the, the, this uh, website is so cute because he says, you can tell he's like a kid, maybe, I'm thinking. Because um, he says with the ramen soups that you, that you can get, uh, you just open up a seasoning packet and sprinkle it across the ramens and toss it and you have sort of like your own uh, Cheetos. Just with the super salty ramen noodles. I'll just go ahead and add the rest of these noodles. Ramen is Japanese, but these are Chinese noodles. Bye, 
I'll save you some for the next time. Last thing I'm going to do for this recipe before I put, put the water on top of it, before I put the hot water on top of it, is um, add a little garnish. Now, when you add, and this is uh, pickled ginger and um, green onions, that's what I'm going to add to this. When you do this, when you make this recipe for yourself, for your jars, what you do is you chop your green onions up and you get your, you get little snack size bags. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the green onions and the ginger in the snack size bag and put them in the jar, seal the jar. Pickled ginger is kind of, it can be a little intense, it just depends on your likes and dislikes. So I'm just going to put this in a little bowl back there beside the soup. You can decide if you want to use it or not. Okay. So that is that is all you do with these soups. You can add um, you can add shrimp, cooked shrimp to the soup. Just make sure you take the dang bag out before you put the hot water in. <laughs> you know, just oh, saying. Well, much <laughs> so this tastes like plastic. <laughs> this tastes a little like plastic. So this is really cute, and this is what you have when you're when you're done. 